everyone, this is Angelina. I'm an IELTS coach and a language trainer, and I welcome you back to the series of lessons for the preparation of IELTS academic and general training reading. Today, we are going to talk about the most confusing question type that is true, false, and not given. Mm -hmm. This is a problem for so many people. It is super confusing that if a statement is false or not given, right? So today in this video, I will be solving test number four, passage number one from the Cambridge Books of IELTS 17. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so we'll go through it step by step. Are you ready? First thing first, always read the title of the passage, not the whole paragraph. Just read the title of the passage. As you can see in here, it says reading passage one. You should spend about 20 minutes on question one to 13, which are based on reading passage one below. Our title, this is the title, Bats to Rescue. Bats to Rescue. I'm sure everybody knows what is a bat. Bat is a mammal and it looks kind of like this. Mm -hmm. Right, now this is called the title. This is our title. Now what is this? This is called your subtitle. Subtitle is something that describes the main title and gives us a little more information about, about the title to have more clarity. So as you can read here, how Madagascar's bats are helping to save the rain forest. Okay, so the title talks about bats to the rescue as if bats are trying to save uh, something. And what are they trying to save? The Madagascar's bats are helping to save the rainforest. I hope you understood something. Let's tap it in here. And under it, we've got your subtitle. And subtitle always provides us extra information about the title. Is that right? Now, moving on to the questions, remember, first thing first, answers are always in a sequence for true, false, and not given. Never, ever be mistaken that the answers would be without a sequence, right? So, let's read the statements. As I've told in my previous video, if you've not watched that video, I I'm going to mention a link to that video somewhere up in here. You can watch it and get to learn more about true, false, and not given. Moving on, what is important? It is so important to read the question carefully and understand if my question type is true, false, not given, or yes, no, not given. If it is true, false, not given, don't make a mistake of writing yes on your answer sheet. Don't make a mistake of writing no on your answer sheet. Not given would pretty much remain the same. So let's read the question carefully. Do the following statements agree with the information given in the reading passage one? Now, the biggest mistake made by candidates, they think that, oh, wow, the examiner has already given us in which paragraph number the answer is given. So they just feel so happy about it and they only read paragraph number one on top. No, 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 that's a mistake. Reading passage one, the whole passage, right? So in boxes one to six on your answer sheet, write true if the statement agrees with the information, False if the information contradicts the information and not given if there's no information on this. Let's talk about our first statement. Stick with me. We have to pick a keyword and a key idea. The first statement here, 
First, we'll pick a keyword and then we'll pick a key idea. Now, what is a key idea? A key idea is the information that the examiner is trying to examine you for or is trying to check you for. And that is usually the tiniest of information. You're always paying attention to big words, but you miss on the little information like connectors, but perhaps, no, because, rather, you know, so working on those little things. Let's read this. Many Madagascan forests are being destroyed by attacks from insects. Many. Many, few, some, or none. Madagascan forests are being destroyed by the attacks from insects. Is this the case? Why Madagascan forests are being destroyed? Because of the, because of the attacks from insects? Many Madagascan forests. Or if there is another reason for it. Let's have a look in the paragraph. But before we do that, let's read statement number two as well. Loss of habitat has badly affected insectivorous bats in Madagascar. Loss of habitat has badly affected or has not affected at all or has greatly affected. Insectivorous bats in Madagascar. Now, what is the meaning of insectivorous? Bats that eat insects, just like you know the word carnivorous, animals that only eat meat. So we can take uh, our key idea in here, uh, Madagascan forests, and we can think of our key uh, idea as destroyed by attacks from insects or by something else. And we also need to keep in mind many. How many? Few, some, what? Ricardo Rocha has, car okay, moving on to the second statement. Loss of habitat has badly affected. The idea that we are trying to find is badly affected, has not affected, or has greatly affected. The keyword could be insectivorous bats because we can look for this keyword in the paragraph very quickly. Now, before we read the rest of the statements, let's find out the answers for statement number one and statement number two. There are a few places, as you know, that this is question one to six. It's pretty obvious that the answers are going to be going to be in the top of the passage because it's already question one to six. So let's read paragraph one. There are a few places in the world where relations between agriculture and conservation are more strained. Strained as in not good. Strained means under pressure, not good. Madagascar's forests are being converted to agricultural land at a rate of 1% every year. Much of this destruction, now remember, much of this destruction is fueled by the cultivation of the country's main staple crop, rice. The destruction is fueled by, is caused by the cultivation of the country's main staple crop, rice. And a key reason for this destruction is that insect pests are destroying vast quantities of what is what is grown by local subsistence farmers leading them to clear forests to create new paddy fields definitely many madagascan forests are not being destroyed by the attacks from insects but actually farmers are clearing those forests to cultivate more rice fields Right? So this is definitely false. Moving on to the next statement. Now, if you found your answer in here, make sure that you uh, put a number here or you may also cross these lines because we don't have to look back at these lines. No, 
As you know, the answers are in a sequence. We don't need it. We're going to, we're going to remove this. We're not going to read it anymore. And we can write a number here too, as we found answer number one in here, like this whole, uh, in these three lines. Moving on to the next question. Loss of habitat has badly affected insectivorous bats. Now look for the word insectivorous bats. Okay, we found it in here. Insectivorous bats. Now, now, now let's read a little bit of information around it. The result is devastating habitat and biodiversity loss on the island. But not all species are suffering. In fact, some of the island's insectivorous bats are currently thriving. So thriving as in surviving, they are not dying, okay? And this has important implications for farmers and conservationists alike. So the statement says, false of habitat has badly affected insectivorous bats in Madagascar. This is a contradictory statement. No, no, no. Right? Because some of the island's insectivorous bats are currently thriving and not badly affected at all, even as a result of devastating habitat loss. So this answer is also false. False. Let's move to the next statement, Ricardo Rocha. Now we can keep Ricardo Rocha as a key word because we can quickly look up for this word in the uh, passage, right? Uh, has carried out studies of bats in different parts of the world. Well, we need to figure out that has he carried out studies in different parts of the world or he hasn't or they have not mentioned anything about it. Let's have a look. We just have to find his name. So here we have it. We can write number two in here. We can also kind of cross these lines too. Okay, because we don't need it anymore. This is this is making the whole paper dirty, but it's okay. This is how we solve it. Okay, uh, now finding his name, Ricardo Rocha. Here is his name. Let's read a bit. Enter University of Cambridge zoologist Ricardo Rocha. He's passionate about conservation and bats. More specifically. More specifically, he's interested in how bats are responding to human activity and deforestation in particular. He is interested in responding to human activity and deforestation in particular. Rocha's new study shows that several species of bats are giving Madagascar's Rice farmers, a vital pest control service by feasting. Okay, that is something that we're going to talk about later. But I think by far, uh, till here, it doesn't mention anywhere that Ricardo Rocha has carried out studies of bats in different parts of the world. We don't have any information about it. They're, they are kind of talking about him being particular or specific about his study, but they have not mentioned anything that was he carrying on his studies about bats in different parts of the world or not. So this is apparently very clearly not given. So let's put not given in here. I'm sure you might have figured it out before me because this was such an easy statement. Let's move to statement number four. Habitat modification has resulted in indigenous. Indigenous. Now, what is indigenous? You might be thinking, what is indigenous? I've never heard that word before. Indigenous only means local, native, local, aboriginal. Bats in Madagascar becoming useful to the farmers. Ah, uh, well, you just read that information with me. Uh, it says that habitat modification has resulted in indigenous bats in Madagascar becoming useful to the farmers. Uh, let's cross these lines as we will not be needing them ahead uh, because some people think that it's confusing for them that so much text is still there. Let's put number three in here. After that, Rocha's new study shows that several species 
of bats are giving Madagascar's rice farmers a vital pest control service by feasting on plagues of insects. And this, he believes, can ease the financial pressure on farmers to turn forest into fields. Okay, in here related to Rocha's new study, but we need to find out something about habitat modification. This is our key word, or indigenous bats too, but has resulted in becoming useful for the farmers or not? As you read this line in here that Rocha's new study shows that several species of bats are giving Madagascar's rice farmers a vital pest control service by feasting on plagues of insects. One fact is very clear that these uh, bats are eating uh, the insects and giving a pest control service to the farmers. This information is given in here. But we also need to look for the word habitat modification. Here it is. Uh, and it talks about co-leading an international team of scientists. Rocha found that several species of indigenous bats are taking advantage of habitat uh, advantage of habitat modification to hunt insects swarming above the country's rice fields. Doesn't it make sense? Yes. These indigenous bats are eating insects and giving benefit to the farmers. This is also the study of Rocha, and this is also the study of Rocha in here. So I would say that the answer was here. Let's take the example of these lines too. We found the answer. We found uh, uh, the answer in a sequence. This was the first one, and this was the keyword related to it. Still says that uh, they are eating, hunt insects swarming above the country's rice fields. In the top lines, we already read that how it is helping the farmers by eating the insects. So I believe this is true. F fourth statement is true. Let's talk about the fifth statement. The Malagasy mouse. The Malagasy mouse-eared bat is more common than other indigenous bat species in Madagascar. Now, we have to find the word bats comprise roughly one-fifth of all mammal species in Madagascar. And 36 re recorded bat species are native to the island, making it one of the most important regions of the conservation of the animal group anywhere in the world. Right now, they're talking about the number or roughly one-fifth how many mammal species of Madagascar, uh, 36 recorded species are native to the island. But this statement says the Malagasy mouse. Right now, we have the word in here, Malagasy mouse-eared bat. Co-leading an international uh, habitat, they include Malagasy, a uh, mouse-eared majors, a uh, long-fingered bat, and Malagasy, white-bellied, free-tailed bat, and wrinkle-lipped bat. A uh, Peter's free-tailed bat and Peter's wrinkle-lipped bat. Okay, if you look in here, they are talking about the proportion or the ratio of different bat species, but they have not in particular talked about Malagasy mouse-eared bat is more common than other indigenous bat species in Madagascar. Uh, as you can see, bats comprise roughly one-fifth of all mammal species in Madagascar. Uh, and 36 recorded that are native to the island. They, they are called uh, indigenous bats, making it one of the most important regions for, but they've not given us any information about the Malagasy mouse-eared bat. No, they are talking in general, because in this part where they're talking about the numbers and stuff, they have not given us anything related to Malagasy mouse-eared bat. Moving on to the last statement of the day, it is your turn to use your mind. Bats may feed on petty swarming caterpillars and grass webworms. So we can find the word petty swarming caterpillars, grass webworms. A key idea would be bats may feed on or may not feed on. Let's have a look. Uh, okay. Uh, let's quickly find the word in here. Um, 
are you guys with me if you're here? Petty swarming caterpillar and grass petal. The these winter species are providing a valuable free service to Madagascar as biological pest suppress suppressors. Already confirmed statement number four says Rocha, we found that six species of bat are preying on rice pests, including the petty swarming caterpillar and grass webworm. The damage which these insects cause puts the islands farmers under huge financial pressure and encourages deforestation. Can you understand that we found that six species of bat are preying on rice pets as in eating, including the petty swarming caterpillars and grass webworm. This means that they feed on, they eat, they are preying on this. So this is definitely true. Well, I hope you learned something, how to find a keyword and a key idea and how to track information in a sequence for true, false and not given. Stay tuned for the next lesson. This is my second video that I've made on the request of some YouTube viewer who requested in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. Until we meet again with another question type, do not forget to request in the comment section what question type would you want me to discuss with you. Thank you for watching. It's a goodbye from my set.